Guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Uh, it's German for hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't speak German, I probably do. So, anyway, um, I know I've gone kind of out of order uh, with uh, the uh, a, the uh, Warren Gen walkthroughs. Um, so today, or at least in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to track a line of storms within Warren Gen, um, and also explain what uh, some of the other stuff does. Uh, the stuff that I did, never mentioned in the uh, first walkthrough video. So, to do a line of storms, uh, first what you're going to want to do is identify a line of storms. Um, as you can see, there's really nothing on the, nothing on the radar right now, so we're just going to same thing as we did last time, make one up. Um, again, my apologies, this is out of order. Um, the This is on a playlist, so uh, you'll still be able to get to it. Um, so for a line of storms, we're going to make a change with Warren Gen under track type. Instead of one storms, we're going to select line of storms. And you're going to see how this uh, centroid changes. It changes to two centroid markers and a line. Uh, you can drag the line to the storm, and it'll pop up in the warning box. Now with these things, it's helpful if you uncheck this box. You'll see the, the uh, warned area is no longer visible. And you can also come up here to edit and hit box. You can just edit the box. You see the centroid markers completely left. You can edit the track. The uh, warning vertices leave. And you can do box and track, which makes everything visible. Um, everything editable, edit, editable, visible. You can see that five times faster. It's hard. <laughs> All right. So uh, first things first, edit the track. So we can't edit the, uh, the polygon right now. So, since this is a pretty localized event, let's say this goes from Central Boone County up toward Howard County, and is sort of a Boeing feature, we'll go ahead and uh, make that into a Boeing feature. Um, so to add vertices on the track, this is the same method as with uh, adding vertices on a polygon. Um, either right-click, add vertex, or um, use your... Um, use your uh, uh, scroll wheel to do that. You can click and drag the uh, the um, you can click and drag the uh, um, the, uh, the track marker around and back up again maybe four frames and drag it so we had everything moving southeast. Um, so now that we've got that set up move this up here. So now we've got that set up uh, hit control right arrow that'll get you back to the final frame and we'll come back up here and go back to box and track run area visible and redraw box on screen from track and you'll get a worn gen default polygon box um, oh sweet uh, Indianapolis is in this fake warning so you'll uh, drag the uh, warning polygon back to uh, to cover the entire area and uh, same as before, if uh, you're only covering a little bit of a county, and you're preached in your shirt might, and you're and you're curious as to whether it'll weaken or not, you can take counties out. Uh, definitely take uh, Hancock County out because they're not in this. Um, everything else to leave in, and go over here. Say we've got 80 mile an hour winds this time, and yeah, spin up tornado as possible. 80 mile an hour winds. We can do path cast. I will caution you though, some uh, county warning areas, Indianapolis included, have problems with pathcasts where it just displays a bunch of do uh, Java code in the, um, in the, uh, what is it called, the uh, text workstation window. So I'm just going to use list of cities. Um, let's say the Indiana State Fair is going on right now. It's not, but let's say it is. Uh, the fairgrounds, which is right around here, is included in the warning. Um, Close to action, uh, elevated, with an excess of 80 mile an hour. Uh, generic threat, we can get rid of that because uh, wind speed is the major threat. And then uh, reports here by the law enforcement agencies, and we can do um, thunderstorms lines can produce tornadoes as well because squall lines with winds that high sometimes you can get brief spin ups. So once we're satisfied with all this, um, after that it's pretty much the same create text, progress information, you get generating product. You'll get the header block, uh, you'll hit enter, you'll go through. You'll um, find any wildcards that need to be um, 
that needs to be ed edited. Um, so if there's a log card in the uh, in the location information, edit that. If there's a log card, there is a log card down here. Um, this is a pretty wordy warning. Um, but yeah, this is. Um, Oh, yep, those attending the Indiana State Fair. Fate Fair. So those attending the Indiana State Fair in the path of these storms, uh, that's just hypothetical. So find log cards, get rid of them. 857. Uh, report severe weather, do all that. Uh, extremely dangerous situation, thunderstorm lines. Uh, do that. And after that, click send, go ahead, and your warning's out. Um, as, as in the last video, I'll uh, preface this, I'll uh, this, I guess? Whatever the word for after is. Um, I'll do that by saying that uh, this is the Unidata version of AWIPS. This is not operational in the slightest. Um, this is not the National Weather Service uh, AWIPS client. This is a freely available AWIPS client runnable on CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, for public use through their own edX server. And as such, any warnings created on this system do not get disseminated to the public in any way. So, now we've got that out of the way. Uh, we can come through and then correcting and doing all that. Uh, correcting, following up, canceling, it's all the same. You can uh, right-click, it'll pull up the warning. You can change the warning vertices and do all that. Create text, go through, send, uh, make sure, making sure everything's good to go. After that, well, it's pretty much the exact same. Um, so hopefully you got some uh, insight as to what, uh, what your... Uh, you're going to be doing with uh, polygons of this nature, uh, line of storm polygons. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will see you guys later.